Hello and uh, welcome to this lecture. So we've been looking at sequences and uh, we already saw that uh, while a generic sequence is a function from the integers to the reals, uh, defining sequences, the recursions gave us a lot of power. It gave us a very succinct way to capture the whole sequence and it seems to have very, very important powerful properties and applications. Now one more way in which sequences can be defined is through summations. Okay? And when you define a sequence by summation, it has a special name, it is called a series. Okay? So this is what uh, we will introduce next. So here what you do is, you start with a sequence a n. And notice I am going to start with n equals 1, 2, 3, etc. I am not going to start with 0. This is just a convention, you can, you can do, you can start with 0 if you think you like that, it is okay. But I am going to start with 1 just for convenience. We will define a summation sequence or a series s n for n equals 1, 2. And this definition is basically the following. Sn, the sequence Sn is A1 for the first one. For the second value, n equals 2, you have to add up A1 plus A2, A1 plus A2. For the third value, you add up A1 plus A2 plus A3. <coughs> what will you do for the fourth value? A1 plus A2 plus A3 plus A4. So, right. So, this is called a series. You start with one sequence and you generate more sequences from it. So, you might argue rightfully, you know, as it is sequences are hard, why are you complicating my life? This, this, these, these occur in practice a lot. It is this way of going towards series, thinking of an underlying sequence and adding it up differently to get a series is very, very interesting. And uh, it, it gives you once again a succinct way of defining a sequence and it is very, very powerful in applications, particularly in evaluations of functions and uh, definitions of functions. It's vitally important. So, the series is an important notion. So, notice it is just a very simple thing that you are doing here. You, you have a sequence, you keep taking these cumulative summations or partial summations up to some point you keep adding. Okay. Now, let me introduce a little bit of notation here because this seems like an important idea and how do you denote it in a very, you know, succinct way and that is where this particular notation comes in. Okay. You might have seen this before but I want to point out this S n, the partial sum is a1 plus a2 plus so on till an and I will denote it as summation. This is like summation, the sigma, this big sigma, it is also called sigma. But the way you read it is summation from k equals 1 to n of a k. So, this is basically shorthand notation for this summation. Is that okay? So, notice this is dummy variable k here which goes from 1 to n. So, basically the summation means you have to loop through the value of k from 1 to n. And for every k, you evaluate what is inside and then you add, 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 add. So, this notation basically means a1 for k equals 1 plus a2. Why is there a plus in the middle? Because, because I have this summation sigma. Okay. So, this is this like, sort of this notation. This is this notation, but this notation will show up again and again and again. And you have to get one comfort with this summation notation. It is very, very important. Okay. I know it is a bit hard, but if you don't get good comfort with the summation notation, you will be in a bit of trouble. Okay, So, get a good handle on what this is, a very easy notation. So, there are n terms, there are a lot of terms here in the summation and instead of writing out all the terms, write it in this compact way and say that the kth term is defined by this a k and I sum from k equals 1 to n. Okay, It is a shorthand notation for summation. Now, you can also notice if you are careful that this is actually, the series is only a recursive definition, right? I define S1 equals A1 and then Sn plus 1 is the previous Sn plus An plus 1. Okay, S2 is S1 plus A2 like that, right? The previous summation, I add the next term, I get the next one. Okay, so it is very, these are all very simple things at one level, but you know, we will start using it over and over again and you should have one comfort with this notation. So, how do I go from a sequence to its series? I basically take all the partial sums and make a new sequence, which is summation sequence or a series of this original sequence. Okay? And the series, instead of doing all this dramatic noise and notation, usually people will say series simply as this summation. There will be one summation, one summation will come dot 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 and that will be the series. Okay? So, very shorthand notation and it is very useful as well. Okay? So, many, many sequences we will see will actually be series for us and we will worry about properties of that series as we go along. Okay. Let us see uh, examples. Right? Yeah, we have to look at examples all the time. So, here is uh, natural numbers, a n is n 
and uh, the series corresponding to it is 1 plus 2 plus 1 to n summation k equals 1 to n k itself right so that's that's this that's this summation okay so it turns out this summation 1 plus 2 plus 1 till n can can be shown to be equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 okay you might have studied this before maybe you studied it as a formula but there is a very simple proof for this uh, very very easy to prove this i'll urge you to see the proof for this so 1 plus 2 plus dot 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 till n okay remember is actually n into n plus 1 by 2 okay is a very famous formula very easy to prove i mean you know i can i can just prove it in like two lines for you minutes if you, in case you're worried so you have one right and then you have two and then you have three so on till n no let's say n okay you've gone up to n so if i want to add this what i'll do is i'll do one little uh, uh, reversal here so i'll put i'll put here in blue n minus 1 here i'll have n minus 2 here i'll have n minus 3 so on till let me just also do the black for n minus 1 okay so if i go all the way here i will go all the way down to 2 1 okay so you notice here i can also add one more blue here and make it n. So now, what is uh, if I add up all these guys, what do I get? Total equals right in each row you have n. How many rows do you have? n in each row and n plus 1 here, right. So, the total is n into n plus 1, okay. Now, total is what? Black plus blue, isn't it? How many blacks do I have? 1 plus 2 plus so on till n, n. How many blue do I have? Again, a 1 plus 2 plus so on till n, right. How many blue? 1 plus 2 plus so on till n. How many black? 1 plus 2 plus so on till n. So, these two is n into n plus 1. So, 2 times 1 plus 2 plus so on till n is n into n plus 1 and from there you get this very famous formula, simple formula n into n plus 1 by 2. So, it is very easy to show this and uh, you can evaluate this sequence 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21 so on, so on, so on, okay. So, this is slightly non-trivial I mean, maybe you have not seen it before but you can see it is a very simple proof, no? very easy calculation to show this one, okay. But this notation I want to point out is very important and we will write down the series as 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on, okay. So, a very simple series, very easy series. Now, there are other series which are very interesting and important, particularly this harmonic series is very, very interesting to study, okay. This series instead of working a n equals n, it works with uh, a n. a n equals 1 by n that is this guy ok and a n equals 1 by n squared is this guy ok. So, if you do a n equals 1 by n ok notice I am starting with n equals 1 2 3 so on. So, a 1 plus a 2 plus so on till a n is h n this is the harmonic series and notice the notation here summation k equals 1 to n 1 by k ok. So, this is my harmonic series it is a very very popular series. Uh, so, it starts with the sequence 1 by n if you start with the sequence a n equals n and find the series corresponding to it you get the n into n plus 1 by 2. If you start with the series a n equals 1 by n and start with the sequence a n equals 1 by n and find the series corresponding to it you get a series which is called the harmonic series and that harmonic series is 1 plus 1 by 2 plus so on till 1 by n. It is a more difficult series to evaluate you, you do not have closed form formulae like this there is no n into n plus 1 by 2 ok. It is a very complicated one it is every value is rational you have to, you have to find a common denominator add up and all that it is a little bit more 
uh, effort needed to compute this okay but it can be computed look at the next modification here instead of having a n equals 1 by n i am starting with a n equals 1 by n squared okay so i am denoting it as h n with two you know on the top to indicate that you know, instead of the usual harmonic series you raise it everything to the power 2 so 1 plus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square so on to 1 by n square and notice the succinct notation here summation over k 1 by k square so notice how clean this notation is and why this notation is useful these notations are not to pain you actually they are there to simplify your life okay if you have good notation your life becomes much much simpler okay so think of it positively like that okay so this is harmonic series and the power of uh, you know sum of 1 by n squared okay so slight variant of the harmonic series okay so already you know we are seeing more and more complicated things you know these things are uh, will show up again and again ah oh, so if your life were not that complicated instead of just the harmonic we can do something called an alternating harmonic series okay notice what has been done here it's again a clever thing you start with the sequence a n which is minus 1 power n minus 1 by n so instead of just saying 1 by n you alternate the sign first you take 1 next you take minus half next you make it 1 by 3 next you make it minus 1 by 4 so on okay so you have the sequence the series that you get from this sequence which is called the alternating harmonic series. why is it alternating because it goes 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4 plus minus plus minus so on okay so this sequence and this series is very interesting okay and look notice the once again the notation here summation over k minus 1 power k minus 1 by k so it's the same thing that's just written in the fashion okay right? a k right so this guy is Okay. Isn't it? okay. So finally, here is a very famous uh, series which uh, originated also in India. It's called the Madhava Leibniz series. It's uh, I'm calling it pi by four series. Okay. So previously we had a root two series. Uh, here is a pi by four series. Okay. So you can imagine. Maybe we will maybe see much much later. But this series. Uh, has one very interesting property and it is related to pi by 4. Again, a mystery. We will see that a little bit later. What is this series? Uh, the, se the sequence you start with is minus 1 power n minus 1 by 2n minus 1. So, what is this 2n minus 1 by the way? What is 2n minus 1? If you have n and then 2n minus 1, if n is 1, you have 3. No, sorry. If n is 1, you have 1. If n is 2, you have 3. If n is 3, you have 5 and so on, right? So, that is how this works for 2n minus 1, okay? This is erase this, this is not there, okay? This is a way to erase, okay? okay. So, so that is the 2 n minus 1. So, you see that this 2 n minus 1 is basically odd numbers, okay, 1, 3, 5, so on. 2 n is even numbers. So, it, and it is alternating, okay. So, you have 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 plus minus so on, and the kth term is minus 1 power k minus 1 by 2 k minus 1. You can write it as sum over k of those k's. So, this is the famous Madhava Leibniz 5 by 4 series, okay. So, this series has a connection to pi by 4 i'll mention what that connection is a little bit later okay so these are very interesting series that will uh, help us uh, later on so let me just uh, quickly summarize uh, you you start with a sequence and you can make a series out of it you keep doing the partial summation all the partial sums put together make a series and series give you real power they they give you very non trivial way to define sequences okay so notice how I started with natural numbers, very simple sequence, but then the harmonic series and the power of 1 by n squared sum, the alternating harmonic series, Madhava Leibniz series. So you have all these fantastic series that uh, give you very, very useful computational tools. And all of these can be, many of these can be computed if they converge in some way and all that. And all these we will study later on. So series is very important as well. Okay. 
So, let us visualize. Okay. So, I wrote down a lot of expressions. You may be wondering what are these expressions, how they look like. Okay. So, the series 1 plus 2 plus so on till n, notice how for the series I am only writing the summation. Quickly I will drop all this, I will only write the first few terms of the summation and that will be enough. Like for instance, if I want to write the sequence, this series, it is enough if I say 1 plus 2 plus 3 dot dot dot, right. Why do I need all these other things? You do not need. You can visualize what that series is, okay. So, that, so that is the 1 plus 2 plus 3 series. And you can see it sort of behaves, you know, it gently smoothly rises like a parabola, okay. You know, it is n times n plus 1 by 2, it is quadratic. So, it will have a parabolic sort of behavior, it rises like this. Notice what happens to the harmonic series 1 plus half plus 1 by 3 plus 1. It is rising sort of smoothly, but it keeps on rising. So, it is sort of interesting uh, to see. We, we have gone only up to n equals 9. So, we do not really see a pattern here. You have to see a larger value of n to see the pattern, but that is what is happening to the harmonic series 1 plus half plus 1 by 3. This variant here 1 plus 1 by 2 squared plus 1 by 3 squared plus 1 by 4 squared, that kind of series seems to be flattening a bit faster, right. So, notice this one sort of goes smoothly, keeps on increasing. This also is going smoothly, but it seems to be flattening much faster. No? Notice the change between just the 1 by n sequence and the 1 by n squared, right. The series for 1 by n and 1 by n squared, there is, seems to be a big difference, okay. So, interesting things to observe. And here is the alternating. Uh, series. So, alternating. So, you can see because of the plus minus plus minus, it starts with 1 and then it goes to half. Then it increases because I added a 1 by 3. Then it falls because I subtracted a 1 by 4. Then I added a 1 by 5. Then it subtracted a 1 by 6, right. So, it reduces, increases, reduces, increases. But every time the amount of reduction, amount of increase is decreasing, no. It is becoming 1 by some larger number, larger number. So, you know, so the step here is sort of decreasing, but it is going up and down and up and down and up and down. Okay. So, notice what happens to the Madhava Leibniz series, something very similar happens. It is sort of like it is going to show this reduction, increase, decrease, increase, decrease type of behavior, sort of this, uh, you know, wavy sort of behavior. And it also seems to be, the, the gap seems to be reducing and reducing as we increase n. Okay. So, hopefully you agree, more than the expression, the stem plots give you a very good idea of how the series behaves. Okay. And we will use this quite extensively to just visualize and understand how a sequence or a series uh, behaves. So, anytime you see a series, if you are scared by the notation, you think it is really confusing or complicated, you learn a computational tool which will give you this template. If you learn that, then you will be able to, you know, uh, make this template and visualize it in a much, much better fashion, okay. So, it is a useful skill to uh, build, okay. Unfortunately, we do not have too much time to go over these things in these lectures. But hopefully, you will learn this on your own. There are a lot of uh, Python tools out there, matplotlib in particular, very useful for this. Okay, hopefully, this gives you just the view of how these different series behave with them and how they uh, how they need to be looked at. Okay. okay, so that is the end of this little lecture on series. I hope uh, you sort of appreciated why series are, uh, you know, very important and uh, I, I, I did not give you too many applications as such. Later on, we will see the series play a very important role in giving you very useful sequences uh, that we can use later on. Okay. Thank you very much.